Hey YouTube, what's going on? Boston Joe here. It's going to be a quick video. And uh, this is going to be regarding uh, the battery uh, backup, the starters for uh, cars. Because I woke up today and then my battery, I know, is probably original from 2016. So I'm going to hit the remote start and you'll see, see if it has any power at all. So nothing at all. So that's the remote start, but let me also go in and try to start it so you can see that it's dead. Boom, click, click, click. Okay. So now, instead of an actual battery backup, the new thing is, because you all get those battery uh, backups, you charge them in your house and then you leave them in your car, a year later you need them and they've already drained over time this has capacitors in it this is the auto wit i'll have to put a link in the description auto wit super cap 2 jump starter i've already had this for over a year they might already have a newer version so check it out but this is the only way i will go in the future for sure um i'll show you what we got to do here Never have to have had it charged. So let's pop the hood. There's always a little bit of juice left. Sometimes the battery will be completely dead. If you've had the thing, you know, and it's been dead sitting for a year or whatever. Um, but in most cases, you're like me and your car still has a little bit. That's Nelly barking in the background trying to get this video in one clip basically you attach the cables uh, to the to the auto wit and then you hook up your battery cables immediately the auto wit the, um, will start charging itself there's a little readout I'm gonna take the camera and you can see right there, I can't, I can't see. Okay, there it is. So it's charging. You see my voltage at 11.8, 11.7? That tells me this va battery is putting out very little. It's not enough to start the truck. So obviously I need a new battery. I need to have my alternator tested too. Um, I believe when you start the truck and you hook this up, whatever voltage you see is what you're getting from your alternator. So that's a way of testing it, but that's a whole nother topic. So you can see as I put it on there, it's charging the capacitors. You can see on the right hand side, 53, 54. I think it takes uh, usually a total of like three minutes. Um, so right now I'm just gonna um, stop this clip and then we'll start out the next clip as soon as um, the things finish charging which is going to be about a minute but I'll let you guys know okay guys we are back and I stopped that uh, last clip at 1027 it's about 1028 and some change so about two minutes later this thing became fully charged and it basically um, once it went from charged you can see now it says power on so it's a hundred percent charged and then i believe getting ready gives you a 10 second countdown to get in the car and then it's going to discharge the capacitors while it's discharging the capacitors there's plenty of juice to start the vehicle now i just go in disconnect the battery cables and i'm all set this thing is gonna still have like nine it says 97 percent charge but it's gonna go back in the box till next time i actually gotta get a brand new battery so we'll probably do that today or tomorrow but i wanted to make this video to show you guys how easy it is to use this thing so that's it i'm keeping these things short and sweet uh, thank you for watching. If you felt this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy, YouTube.